Welcome! This video will cover the advanced settings found in the Zone tabs in the Fusion Control Panel. First, of course, you will need to install the Control Panel software provided for you with your controller. Then connect to the powered controller with a USB cable and open the program. Click the Connect button on the left-hand side of the screen, and then the Zone 1 tab. You'll have multiple zone tabs if you have multiple zones on the controller, and they have an identical layout. First, you can select your feedback type from this drop-down menu. RMS Voltage is selected by default. Your firing mode will depend on your hardware. For transformer coupled or highly inductive load, or loads with a precision temperature control requirement, we generally recommend phase angle. Otherwise, we recommend zero cross. The advanced modes, like zero cross burst and zero cross phase angle start, are used in situations that call for extreme power efficiency. Consult control concepts for more information about advanced modes. For your control mode, you can choose between open loop or closed loop. When closed loop is selected, the processor uses the feedback and automatically adjusts SCR turn on time to achieve a certain set point. This mode is usually preferable because it maintains an accurate set point, while open loop is typically only used for diagnostic purposes. For more information, contact the factory or refer to the control panel manual. Your RAM time limits how fast the controller turns on. Entering 10, for example, tells the controller to take 10 seconds to ramp up to your target set point. Zero means this feature is disabled. Control response factor is a tuning parameter that controls how aggressively or slowly the controller responds to feedback. 500 is the default, and you reduce the number to make the controller respond more aggressively and increase the number to make it respond more slowly. Note that these are not time units. The number simply determines how the controller responds, with 500 as a starting point. The deviation band setting generates an alarm if the controller feedback is a certain percentage over or under the desired set point. This setting is not available on all firmware. Again, contact Control Concepts if you have questions about your firmware release. We've covered both full-scale settings and limits before in our basic setup tutorial. So let's move on to zero cross settings. Burst start angle specifically applies to the burst start firing mode we mentioned earlier. It's a tuning parameter that's used for firing into transformers. By default, it's set to 90 degrees, and you can adjust the angle to prevent saturation, depending on your system design and downstream transformer characteristics. The acceptable range is 15 to 150. This next setting is for the zero cross phase angle start firing mode. It determines how many phase angle cycles will set up a magnetic field in a transformer. The default setting is 12, and a lower number means an improved power factor, so test with your load to select the best setting. Finally, let's look to our relay alarms. We can check the box next to an alarm to direct it to a relay. By default, relay 1 is set to current trip and over temp, and relay 2 is set to shorted SCR and warning temp. Now you could check as many alarms as you want, just note that if more than one are checked per relay, you won't be able to determine which alarm caused the fault, except by using the keypad display or accessing the information with digital communications. For more information, you can check out our other video tutorials, download the control panel manual from our website at www.ccipower.com, or contact the experts directly at Control Concepts Incorporated.